welcome back to our channel. I'm Kelly Walters, and if you haven't watched um, utilizing templates in the Easy View Designer, which is offered on transferexpress.com, creating one color designs, go and watch it after you've watched this. But we are doing a follow up video to that one, and we are going to do the same thing utilize the templates that are already available in uh, the Easy View Designer, but we're going to turn it into a two color artwork. That way you can see how you can maximize different logos with um, two different colors on a gang sheet. So you know the drill, I'm gonna take you to the computer, walk you through the website, the how to, and of course, add to cart and the checkout process. That way you can see it from beginning to end and feel confident using the Transfer Express website, especially utilizing the Easy View Designer. So let's head to the computer. This is the artwork that we used previously when creating a one color design using the templates that are available um, on the Easy View Designer. Now, if you are curious on how we created this gang sheet, go back to that original video and we or I walk you through the process on where we found the art, how we broke it apart, and how we manipulated it to maximize the entire 11 and a half by 14 sheet. So you can find that link um, in the comments. That way, if you have any questions as we walk through creating the two color, you can watch that video right after this. So let's go ahead and uh, go full screen. That way you guys can follow along on taking a one color to a two color design. All right, now that we are full, let's just break this down. Remember for the sheet, we wanted to maximize the variety of logos and the number of logos we could put on the sheet. As you can see right here, everything is showing that it is just one color and it's black. So what we're going to do first is I am going to remove this so we can adjust it. And right now everything is grouped together. So the first thing we need to do is ungroup. That way we can select what we need to and change the colors accordingly. Now I am going to select the flowers because that's what I want to change first. And let's change it to this fun avocado color. Because we are using celery as the t-shirt color, let's go ahead and change it to white. That way we can see the actual colors that we would be working with. Now you can see we are up to a two color design using both the black and the avocado. It's represented on our art and it is also represented over here in our order review prior to finalizing that review and adding to cart. So you can see it says two colors, black and avocado. From here, what we want to do next is change that black and we want to group the font together that we are going to be changing. And I'm going to change it to dolphin. So now we have a really fun, bright, colorful um, two color design. As you can see, we're now at three colors. So keep in mind, as your colors don't match up or you add, they will increase right here for color selections. And they will also change over here on your, um, you know, your pre-order form. So again, it's showing the number of colors would be three. Now you could select black and just choose a color. So let's say the remaining black is all going to turn, turn avocado. And now we are down to a two color design. This might be easier for you or it might be trickier. For me, I am going to change that uh, floral pattern to avocado. And then I'm going to take one of these smaller logos and make it avocado. So now we have two logos that are that smaller two and a half wide. We have an option for the avocado and we have an option for the dolphin color. Now for the larger, well, I say larger, but for the left chest size, 
I am going to adjust this logo just a little bit. As you can see, if I move it or if I click it and move it around, the entire logo moves. So again, let's go ahead and ungroup. And I'm going to select that more than uh, font. Remember, you can go in right here and edit. You can also change the font for each section because this is all editable artwork. So what I want to do is change the more than. I want to change that to the avocado. So now we've kind of created our own unique left chest logo that's still two colors. We are utilizing a one color design here and another one color design here, giving us two completely different logos, even though it's the same text. Our um, floral design is still that avocado. And to go back in and fill the left chest void, I am going to control D and duplicate that. Again, you can easily go up here to object and duplicate as well. Now I need to group this. So I can just easily click and move it. And as you can see, as I moved by the arrows, we adjusted our overall size. So I just want to take that back down to a three and a half. So now we have a left chest, excuse me, that's right here. That is two colors. We've also got a full back or full front. That is two colors. We've got our leaves that now have added color. And of course, you could go in and adjust this color. We've got a left chest that is slightly different than the full design. And we are just really utilizing all of the colors and options that are available. If you wanted, you could really go in and just add a whole nother element to this. It just duplicated that. And what I'm going to do is change this color to avocado and kind of created a shadow effect. So just remember, you can get as creative, as basic um, as you would like when you are utilizing two colors. You can really bring your art to life um, or you can just keep it simple like we did with the you are more than enough either way you're paying for the two colors and you're paying for the full sheet so allow your creativity to really roam and give your customers the best options available or you have the capability to add your personal logo to this and change it up in different colors if you choose to add your logo to random things now, remember, we originally talked about this, these two logos being possible, like peekaboo logos, maybe they're placed on the inside of the shirt. So having a fun color selection just might be your brand or your staple or your customer's brand. Now, from here, we do have the ability to work with the color change option. I'm just going to briefly touch on this as it could save you overall costs if you are choosing to use the same design and then do a color change. Once you are here, you will go to add new. And then you can see that you've got color change one. So you could just continuously add a variety of color changes. From here, maybe you go black and royal so you can see that it's automatically going to do the adjustment for you or you could just choose to do a one color design and two color the only thing is remember we created a shadow effect a shadow effect right here with the more than so now our font looks just a little different but you could make the choice to simplify it if this is something you would like to do from here, you would go back and you now have your single color change. 
And if you choose to not do that or you would like to remove it, you can simply hit this button and it is removed from your order form. So same thing, you can either select your art, drop down, choose selection only. Now you can see your full design here. Let's change that to easy. You have to have three letters. Alrighty, from here we are done. We've selected screen print. We've chosen our goof proof. Again, our t-shirt material is the 50-50. We are not cutting apart, verifying the two colors. Selecting our apparel color, maybe we'll change it to peach. And then again, the image quantity is the sheet quantity, not the image quantity per logo on the sheet. So from here, we are done. We'll get to see the proof right here. Verify and review your order. Select add to cart. And now your artwork is loaded in your shopping cart. Remember, you can select this button, move selected items to the saved items. So now you can see that you have um, a couple of different items saved and you can go in and adjust as needed. You can select that, add back to cart. And from here, you can even increase your quantity as needed. You can select that little pencil, which will take you back to edit. And you can adjust as needed. And again, continue to move forward. Hit add to cart and it would adjust in that cart. It does not add to your quantity. All right, guys, from here, you just continue to check out, move through the payment and shipping process, and you are ready to go. Hopefully this helped you kind of understand how to maximize a two color sheet when ganging logos uh, with Transfer Express. Remember the artwork we went over was simply used or uh, using a template that Transfer Express offers within the Easy View Designer. You can go in, edit the trans or edit the templates, adjust the colors. You could easily take the design from a one color to a four color design if you prefer. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope this helps and we will see you next time.